So I'm gonna show you my guitars here, um, right behind me. I have a show tonight. This is the guitar I use, mostly, right here. This is a Gibson Les Paul model. It is an Epiphone. Freaking amazing guitar. I got this many years ago and uh, I was a teenager when I got it, so it was very heavy for me. I was probably about 90 pounds when I got this. So imagine a 90 pound little girl rocking out a heavy Les Paul. If any of you know anything about guitars, you have probably picked up one of these. You know it's like picking up a boulder. You have to get really used to um, holding this and learning how to play guitar with a heavy piece of equipment like this. It rests on your shoulders here and you'll start to get kind of, you'll start to get some neck problems from it. But I'm used to it now. I'm very used to it. And I usually, this is about the, where the length that I like it at, you know, right at my hips so I can do my bar chords. I don't like playing it up here, that's ridiculous. Down here is perfect for me. This guitar, it sounds amazing. I use this with my Marshall half stack. I have a Fender, it's a tube amp. It's the Fender DeVille. DeVille. The only thing is, is that it's very clean sounding and I like, like a real distorted sound. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get, it's a Mesa Boogie pedal. It's a stomp pedal. What I'm gonna use is this guitar with my Fender DeVille tube amp and the Mesa Boogie stomp pedal. So I'll be able to get the same sound that you would get from a Mesa Boogie um, but with also the clean sound that I'm looking for when I do more of my like reggae um, ska kind of stuff. This is my other guitar. I just got this. I traded my other guitar in for this. My drummer was able to trade this in. I had another guitar which is a knockoff of a music man and I wasn't using it very much, but it was light and I would use it for my backup in case I broke a string or something on stage. This is an Epiphone SG and um, this is this model is actually pretty tight. I love these knobs, the way that they look. And it's just a very, very pretty guitar. The thing I like about this one, um, I haven't used it for any shows yet because I need to get it set. If you look here, um, it's, it's rising off of the neck. Gotta get this whole guitar set up for me. Get it set in standard because I don't drop D or E or anything like that. I'm not a metal band, just like a, a rock band, regular rock band. This guitar is really light. You know, I could throw this thing a mile. This, this thing is like paper to me compared to that. The other good thing about it is that the neck is smaller. If you look at the neck on here comparatively, ooh, they're gonna knock into each other. Um, this neck is wider on the back. This one is thinner on the back. This part of it is wide, but this part of it isn't. And my shows, this one and this one I will be using eventually. This is my go-to guitar. I feel most comfortable with it. It's been with me for many years. It's like my other arm, really. Um, I, I have to change my strings, so I'm gonna put on these Diodarios and um, I usually change my strings after every other show. I don't play shows every night with this guitar, with my band, but um, when we have a lot of shows coming up, what I usually do is I'll play a show with a new pair of strings, play another show, and then I'll change them out and put a new one on. Probably what you're gonna spend most of your money on is replacing strings, but you have to. You can't use the same strings over and over and over again. It, it has like a horrible tone. Um, the only problem the only problem with that is that you have to stretch them out. You've got to really play that guitar before you go on stage because it's going to start going out of tune while you're on stage and you don't want that. So yeah, I'll be changing these before the show tonight. I'll probably play them at practice before we go to the show tonight. Um, I also have this Line 6. This is pretty cool. A wireless cable. I can pretty much run around on stage. I have the guitar and I'm singing. So I don't have much time to move around on stage because I'm usually just singing or talking to the um, audience. But the great thing is if I do want to go over there to my bassist or if I want to go over to my drummer and rock out with them, I can just go over there. I don't have to worry about being plugged into my amp. Power cord here and then your cable will go from here into your amp. You put this on the strap here and then you just plug it right in. 
So that's pretty much how that works. And then you're ready to go. You can go anywhere. You're not tripping over anything with this or, you know, jump around and move around way easier. I'm not on lockdown. So yeah, these are my instruments I use. My Gibson Les Paul Epiphone, Les Paul model, and then my Epiphone SG here, which is my backup. But I will probably be using this just as much as here, this one. I'll probably be switching back and forth between these two. But I have a show tonight. It's Friday night. If you guys are in the Orlando area, hit me up on YouTube right now. And, um, you know, if you're, if you're in the area, you live around here and you want to come to our show, I'll get you on the list. So be, you know, be one of the first ones to write and I'll get you on the list for tonight. We've got some really cool bands playing tonight. We have a band from out of um, West Palm. We got a band out of West Palm. We got a band out of Melbourne tonight. We also have some local bands playing that are well known around here. The first person that writes below that they want to come out to the show tonight can be up on YouTube right now. If you're in the area and you want to come out to the show, I will get you in. I will see you tomorrow.